Hello Wonderland, Kelly here, back at my desk. Um, so I was surprised this week by the news that DxO Pure Raw 4 was being released, and was released. It was actually out before I heard of it, because I'm only a little YouTuber with 300 subscribers, and I don't get that kind of information ahead of time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've, I've been very happy with DxO Pure Raw 2 and 3. So when 4 came out, I was like, do I really need to upgrade? It feels like 3 just came out, like last year. Maybe a year is a normal time frame for these kind of updates. But uh, yeah, I was kind of debating whether I wanted to upgrade or not. So I downloaded the demo, the trial version, um, which is the full version of Pure Raw 4. Um, and I haven't bought it yet, so I'm still trying the demo, the trial. Um, but so far, I'm fairly impressed, and I thought I would make a video about it fairly quickly uh, to show you guys what I'm seeing and process a few more images for you um, to show you how Pure Raw 4 works and how it does. Um, so let me start recording on the computer here. Ba -ba -ba, there we are. Okay, so I am in Lightroom Classic, of course, um, and I've picked out a handful of images from my recent Florida excursion. I just got back uh, earlier this week, so I've got a few videos coming around that. Um, but yeah, um, so I picked a few images that were all pretty high ISO. So I wanted to show you a few that I've already processed uh, with Pure Raw 4, though I haven't fully edited them yet, edited them yet, and then a few that I haven't processed yet, so I can show you the actual processing. Um, okay, so we'll start here. Here we have a glossy ibis. Um, this was shot, and all these are on the R5. That was the camera that I had on this excursion. So um, this is the R5 with the 100 to 500 millimeter and the 1.4X extender. Um, and this was shot at ISO 6400. So if I zoom in here, you can see focus is good. The, you can tell the bird is sharp, but there's a pretty good amount of noise all through uh, the bird and the background, and that's what you would expect at ISO 6400, right? Okay, so let me switch over to the processed. This is processed with the XO Pure Raw 4, uh, basically all of the default settings. It adds some settings for the strength of the um, noise reduction and how many details, how much detail to accentuate, uh, but I left it all plain vanilla out of the box. This is what you get. So yeah, um, like I said, pretty impressed. Uh, Pure Raw 3, I'm sure would have done a fine job with this too, but this looks really good to me. Um, so zoomed out, not a whole lot of difference, but yeah, when you zoom in, you can really see the background is perfectly cleaned up. The bird looks nice and sharp and no noise there. So yeah, good result. Uh, next one, we have a little common yellow throat. Uh, who popped out at me. And again, this is ISO 5000 with the same kit. Um, and you can see the noisy, grainy, not terrible. You could probably clean this up in Lightroom just fine. Um, but this is processed with Pure Raw 4 and the Deep Prime XD2 algorithm. Um, and yeah, very clean. Very nice indeed. And again, these are unedited other than being run through Pure Raw 4. So these are not my final images, but just in terms of sharpness and the noise, looks fantastic. Uh, this one, okay. So again, ISO 5000. This is an Aninga male. Um, and again, grainy, noisy. And this is the Pure Raw 4 image cleaned up very nice. Kind of switch back and forth. So this is the unprocessed. You can see the grain through there. I'm only at 100%. Uh, let me go to 200. So yeah, noisy, grainy. Switch back here. This is 200% on the Pure Raw 4. So this one, I feel like either the bird was too far off or I didn't quite nail focus, uh, but still, that looks pretty darn good. Okay, and lastly, from the birding outing, we have a black vulture. Uh, this is actually at ISO 12,800. I was 
kind of had the wrong settings for this. I was at one sixteen hundredth of a second because I was shooting some birds in flight as well. Uh, so that made it made the camera crank the ISO up pretty far on this one. Um, and you can really see the noise there. But processed. You can already tell it's a lot smoother. And that looks again pretty darn good. I mean, it's kind of an ugly bird, right? But <laughs> the uh, image looks fine to me. This is 100%. Yeah, so I saw those and I was like, that's impressive. I might need to make a video about this um, and end up buying this software. So let us move on a little bit to something more challenging. So uh, I spent some time in the Universal Orlando theme parks while I was down in Florida. One of my favorite places there is uh, the Harry Potter lands. Um, and in the queue of the uh, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey ride, which takes place in the Hogwarts castle that they have, um, I don't like the ride so much because it kind of makes me feel woozy. Uh, but the queue, you can just walk through the castle and if you're not riding, you can bring your camera and take photos. And that's what I did. So here's one of kind of the... Um, the grand stairway area of the castle. This was taken with my 10 to 20 millimeter on the R5, um, and it's really quite dark in the castle. Um, it's a nice atmosphere, but photographically, obviously that is challenging. So this is all the way at my max ISO that I use, which is 25,600. And you can really tell here, Lots and lots of noise and green. So this is what you would think a 25,600 ISO image looks like, right? So let's run this through Pure Raw 4. So I'm going to the file menu, plug in extras, because it's a Lightroom plugin, of course. Um, you can launch Pure, uh, the, the Pure Raw program on its own and import images into it to process, but I use it as a side chain from Lightroom. Um, so here, preview and process with Pure Raw 4. I'm gonna bring that up. That should launch it. And I'm still in the demo mode, the trial mode, so I'll stick with that right now. And then this is new. Um, in Pure Raw 4, you get this preview window with a slider, which is kind of cool. So this is the full image. This is a 100% zoom. And you can move around so you're seeing all that noise in the raw um, and this is even noisier than what we were seeing in Lightroom. I suspect Lightroom cleans up a little bit on its own and then um, yeah you can add the noise reduction on top of that. So then I've got my little slider here so this is totally unprocessed. If I drag this over wow Jace are you seeing that? <laughs> That's freaking amazing actually. Uh, and these portraits are, um, to kind of go with the Harry Potter thing, they, they are animated, they move. They're basically screens instead of, of static paintings. Um, so maybe this blur is just that this guy was moving at the time. I was at about a 30th of a second on this shot. But still, that difference is just amazing. So, okay, so we have more settings here. Um, I'm going to go with standard softness correction and it's got other corrections for the lens. I like to output to DNG. I'm gonna put my processed image in a DxO subfolder in the original folder. I like to rename it with the processing method. So in this case, D prime XD2. And that kind of tells me that this file was processed with this software, right? And then it imports it by default into a little catalog and I don't worry about that. So let's click process. And this goes fairly quickly for one image. And then it will re-import that into Lightroom. And there we are. And holy crap. I mean, seriously. Look at this. Look at this. I am literally flabbergasted at how clean this looks. All right, um, guess who's gonna be spending 79 bucks? Jeez, this is amazing. Okay, uh, let's try another one, shall we? Uh, let me go back to my Florida trip here, my yellow colored images. Okay, um, I'm gonna skip to this one. 
this is only ISO 16,000 <laughs> only. Um, but yeah, you can tell, again, quite noisy. As you would expect, this is the same lens, the 10 to 20 millimeter, 1 15th of a second. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So let's run this one through Pure Raw 4. File, plug in extras, preview and process. Or there's the option in there to just process if you don't care about checking out the preview. Um, but for fun, for educational purposes, we're doing the preview. Okay, so here is our unprocessed image. And I think the dragon skeleton is what is interesting here. There we are. And if I drag that over, <laughs> It's like a kind of magic, I swear. Okay, um, same thing, DxO subfolder, renaming to that, process. I am just really impressed with this. And I thought Pure Raw 3 was good. Here's our processed but unedited image, so these are not yet edited. I'm just trying to show you guys the noise reduction capabilities, and this is just amazing. That looks good, all this little stuff along the wall. A little more light, of course, by the windows, which are not real windows. Trade secret. I'm just like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, let me tap flag this one as well. And then I have one more, just one that I thought might be interesting. So uh, this again is in Dumbledore's office, also ISO 25600. Um, I just thought all this stuff, the details might make an interesting image to process, even though compositionally this is not great. Uh, but okay, let's run it through real quick. And this one, I'm gonna try that other option because I haven't actually tried that myself. Just process instantly with Pure Raw 4. See what that does. Um, it should be by default, okay. Destination original folder. I actually want it to go to my subfolder. I wish it would remember that setting. It doesn't seem to want to remember that setting. All right, process. And that nag screen, of course, with the, the trial thing, that'll go away once you've purchased and registered. And the processed image, unedited, but run through DxO. Let me let that load in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, things look pretty smooth. Uh, not seeing a whole lot of texture, but the noise is certainly dealt with. Little bit left over there, but looks pretty good to me. All right, so there you go. That's a quick look at DxO Pure Raw 4. Um, I'm buying it. I'm super impressed, especially those the birds and those uh, in, in th that interior uh, with all the paintings. That just blows my mind that it cleaned that up so well. So. There you have it. All right, let me know if you have any questions or anything you'd like me to try. Um, otherwise, be good to yourself, take care of each other. Don't forget to be awesome. Get out and wander. <laughs> Later.